Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventure with Kramer and on today's video I'm going to be unboxing the pole mount adapter kit from Starlink. Let's get started. All right, here we go. We have the new Starlink pipe mount kit here. Just came in the mail. Let's try and get it open real quick. Got a little beat up in packaging. It's a little heavy for this small of a kind of piece. It's that little bit right there. Hopefully nothing got lost, but let's see what we have here. Oh, hey, another one of the backpacks. Double check. Nope. Looks the same. A little SpaceX logo there on the strap. That does work really nice being able to help take it up. Let's see what we got from here. This is the picture that I found online, so that's why it was kind of pretty simple on there. It just shows putting it right on top of another pipe. You have the actual Starlink satellite right there. And then you just put in the different screws. Didn't really say what screws though. And it says a wrench, but it didn't say what wrench. And I haven't figured out what that is. What B is on there. So try and figure that out here in a little bit. Oh, never mind. That's what B is. B, that's their different way for showing the the bag. And that's the strap for being able to help actually take that up onto the roof. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So then I'll take a look at this here next. Let's see what we got here. We have all the different screws here. Ah, there they are. So this is just the standard box of 40 of the cable clips you get in all the different mounting kits. They're real nice clips. See if I can help to show them. They kind of crimp around there. Have some nice flex to put them up and over. You can either use a Phillips head or a small like nut driver. I'm not sure what size the nut driver is there. But then has a nice wood screw thread. It helps kind of clamp together on there. Let's see. This is definitely heavier than normal. What's this? I want to say this is actually just steel. This does not feel like the regular aluminum. This definitely feels much heavier duty. Definitely has a different sound compared to just regular like aluminum. There's a little bar in between here. I wonder what in the world that's for. There's no screws you have to need to set and put in there. Oh, just to be able to help stop the dish from coming too far, but you would think that it would automatically stop with these little, for the push buttons that you can have right here. You have some nice machine threaded holes put evenly going around the sides. So you have one here, here, and here. Two on each side for a total of six. Have some of the bolts here. Nice point to be able to put the pressure on there real nice and easy. and smooth I like that so that is the pipe mounting adapter kit um, might end up actually switching up mine eventually I just we haven't had only like one day of high winds and then it's been like late at night so I've been asleep for most of the times to try and see how much the wind is affecting internet on the 
ridge mount kit that I currently am using because that ridge mount kit does say that do not use it in high winds. So I do want to try and see if it is being affected by the wind and if it is getting a little bit of movements and I am getting some different dropouts because if that's the case I definitely need to try and I might end up using this on one of the other different old satellite mounts that I have already hooked up on the house but as you can see these move in quite a ways it says a maximum of a two and a half inch pipe that you can have on there so definitely quite a bit of size range you can shrink this all the way down to be able to help try and hook it up if there's something you want to know just let me know in the comments um, anything else about this thanks everybody if you like the video definitely hit the thumbs up button for me comment down below and peace